Ted here from Aperture, and today I'm gonna to explain how to use Waveform on a field monitor. Now, today I'm gonna to be using the Aperture VS5, but for the most part, Waveform looks the same on any monitor on any brand, which means that this information should be helpful regardless of what monitor you're using. So Waveform is a monitor assisting function that helps you better measure and better read the overall exposure of your image. Now, the best way to think of it is a graph that charts the brightness values of your picture from left to right. So on the x-axis, we get our image mapped horizontally, meaning that the left edge of the graph represents the left edge of our image. And the right edge of our graph represents the right edge of our image. And the center of everything else is lined up based on where it is in that order. This represents the exposure values of your image using IRE, which stands for Institute of Radio Engineers. Now, this is the name of people who studied exposure a long time ago, but more importantly, IRE is now the standard way of measuring brightness values. IRE is charted from zero IRE, which is complete darkness, black, to 100 IRE, which is completely blown out, white. Everything in between is all the brightness values and generally where your image should be. If parts of your image are touching zero IRE, that means that you're underexposed and not capturing that part of data. Now, if you're at 100 IRE, that means that you're overexposing, that you're unable to capture that data because it is exposing above your capturing range, or at least above broadcast limits. So now that we know the X and Y values of the waveform scope and how IRE works, all we have to know now is that each pixel of waveform data represents a part of our image, which is then charted based on where it is horizontally in the image and its IRE value. It takes just a quick glance at this very powerful scope to see not only if you're under or overexposing, but also to see where and by how much it's happening. And the last thing to know about waveform is resolution. This will not be the same on every monitor, and the resolution of your waveform ultimately depends on your manufacturer. But basically, in a nutshell, waveform resolution is the number of pixels on your monitor that it will use to represent your image. A higher resolution is desirable because with more pixels, you're better able to see and more accurately able to see the data of your image represented on the waveform scope. For instance, if the waveform function is showing every four pixels in your image as one pixel on your scope, what would normally be four separate points on your waveform scope will be represented as a single point on that graph. That's it for how to use waveform. I'm Ted from the A-Team. Be sure to check out our Aperture user group on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube for more tips. Shoot well, and we will see you guys next time.